Hey guys, Miss Tracy here, and we're back on 76 doing another camp showcase. As always, I tell you in the beginning, if you have an awesome camp you want to show off, I am on all three systems now. There's more information in the description. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the teaser here for Black Apocalypse's camp, the Robot Athena. All right, we're here with Black Apocalypse. Hey. Hello. And this camp is so cool. Let me show you where we are first, right down here. And make sure you guys check out how to spell his name because you want to check him out on YouTube too. I'll give you guys a link in the description. I love what you've been doing with your channel with all the different camp showcases. And oh, he does like you. stories and acting and all kinds of fun stuff. You guys should really check it out. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Yes, and I'll I'll let you go ahead and explain and... this... Uh, story to me because yes, he's got lore behind it as i walk around walking robot yeah well as you know because you know me quite well i'm a bit of a geek i do like my science fiction my <laughs> stories and so That's on awesome. so yeah the, the the whole story behind this was um it 10 years ago there was a big alien war alien war pretty much wiped out everybody and humans had to live underground the, the ones that were left anyway and they've been secretly building weapons to fight back. Um, and this is basically what they've been building. Um, and this is the war chariot, Athena, <laughs> which is a geeky name that I've decided to give it. Instead of just calling it a mech or a Jaeger or yeah, everybody she's calls like them something of war. different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is the bat's part is supposed to be like the docking station um, where she has to dock with. Um, oh, yeah. She's got to charge somewhere. To, yeah, exactly to recharge and for people to board um and yeah the idea is that they're going to be building this and taking the fight to these aliens that, wherever they are <laughs> so yeah it's changed slightly uh, i've made this into a more of a, a functional camp um, yeah i did a little teaser it. first and it's just slightly different yeah like, i don't think this guy was it here is. before right no so this is obviously my vendor box now because mm. i needed to put a vendor in so i've tried to dis disguise him as much as possible as like a control room yeah he looks like a robot dude yeah. yeah so he's just like in there but except yeah, he throws beer has... and peanuts but but close yeah well, <laughs> i know well we'll take them though i, 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 I don't like a beer and peanuts but oh. this is yeah the main control room very cool is it there Nice. And you're supposed to yeah, Don't get a nice anybody. view. <laughs> yeah, you'll drop down to the bottom though when you get out. That's the only oh, problem. That's okay. You that's okay. Down here. <laughs> exactly. But you can, yeah, because that'll lead into the to the bottom room, which again is changed slightly to what I had it. Yeah. But it's uh yeah, a little bit more practical now. because um, I needed my crafting station. So cool. yeah, I've got my Yeah, everything I pretty much need. And the stations that I use the most, the meeting table in the yeah. center. And yeah, it's more of a before um, when you recorded some of the other clips, it was a I was in proper role play mode. So it had two armor stations here and then a door here. So the idea was that they'd power up in the power armor and jump out the door at the back. Yeah. To, yeah, to fight, so, basically. <laughs> confession time. I. Uh... <laughs> I totally recorded this already and I screwed up the audio and Pac was nice enough to meet me again. However, a week did go by and he did change a few things in the camp. That's why the, the <laughs> teaser is yeah. slightly different. <laughs> but yeah, is that everything in the main camp then? 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. There's not much. Um, there's not really much in. I mean, the structure itself. Yeah, because it's so gigantic. Budget. Oh, and yeah. it is legit budget, and I really want to point that it out because a lot of people don't yeah. believe him. So we're in. No. We're in a build menu right now. Like I can pull out the build menu. I wonder if I can put down something. You can. Oh crap! Uh, you might be able to. I don't know if I've used it all, or I think I've got some things. You might be able to put something down. Give it a go. If not, I'll destroy a wire. And then uh, nope. Budget. So I'll destroy this wire because people that know that if you've got an over budget camp, you can't. You can't place you destroy the wire. Else. You can't place it back. Yeah. So I'll destroy that. Okay. And then. Not budget. There we go. See. There we go. Ta-da! Totally Yay. legit budget. The only slightly tricky part about where the build is is not a legit. Just a little trick. <laughs> so he built this up really tall, right? But there's nothing for you to put your camp box up on really tall here. I mean, sometimes you can use a tree, but the tree's kind of out of the spot over there. So what he did, and this is crazy, was he put down a camp and then he shot a cardboard box from that building all the way over here and up to the top of the camp and then placed the camp module on top of that cardboard box to make it go up higher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Very I, clever. I can remember I, I I seen it on um I seen it on YouTube. I mean it's not my original idea or anything. I've seen somebody do it on YouTube. It must have been about seven or eight months ago. And Jeez. I just thought Wow, yeah, that is really cool because it works <laughs> like you can do it on water as well. To if you can get a cardboard box that will shoot with an explosive weapon, you can place your camp item on that box anywhere. Oh. So anywhere you can get the box, put your camp item. Sweet. And it's uh yeah. It's just enabled me to get this is pretty much max height. I think I could probably go a tiny bit higher, but yeah, pretty much this is as as big as you're gonna get. Yeah. Currently in the game. Alright, so we'll go down here and check this area out. So we're down here in the mine for their residential area. Yeah, I follow we you. Are. This is yeah, follow me. This is so the the story basically is everybody that works on Fina, the mech. Mm -hmm. This is basically they live underground to be safe from obviously the alien invasion and everything. And yeah, this is where they all live. So this is kind of like the military area at the bottom. Um, this is like the the check-in point. The idea is that they use the stash box to put all their. Um, well, it probably won't show if I use it actually. So, this thing is yeah, so cool. Is, it is. Uh, yeah, I do really love that stash box. But yeah, they're supposed to drop off all <laughs> what, whatever they're carrying. And it spins and they in, go through, yeah. They go through the door, which is a power armor. Metal um, detector, display right? Display case. And that's supposed to be, yeah, like the metal detector. Sweet. And then this is like the, the sort of work area. That's like a memorial to everybody that died during the alien war. Yeah, yeah a lot of people. Made. Most of yeah, the humans. Exactly. So they always see that, and then this is just like the little area where they clock in. And uh, I love this yeah. punch card machine as a punch card machine. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. well, it's really a perk card <laughs> machine, but you know what I mean. It looks it like yeah. a punch card machine. It looks yeah, perfect. And, that, and then off they go to build the mech, or they return back, and this is leading to the residential yeah. area. So this is like the little elevator so we're gonna section. Go So I have my HUD off, but right there it would have said, you know, enter the systematic. What is it? What is it? Called? Or the yeah. Systematic. What does it say? It says like. It, it, it could just say use. Yeah. It just says use, use symptomatic. Okay. It should say use symptomatic, okay. but my HUD is off right now. So this is a neat little way to travel through ceilings without stairs. I like it. Hmm. But a little spoiler: you must have hid stairs somewhere to be able. No wait, It's a shelter. It's a shelter. Never mind. You can float. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm done. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And then this leads around to the actual residential area. So this is where they all live. So really quick, I need to point out my favorite new camp tip of all time that I'm actually <laughs> going to put out an extra video of, um, especially this week, because assuming I get this video recorded and edited in time, um, this week you can buy the Halloween bundle with the plasma balls in it. And that is for the last week of... Uh, july in 2021 so hopefully you guys get another chance come halloween too but these plasma balls right here i'm gonna 
hold them up. You can see, sorry to show off your, your secrets here, that no, they're right. actually oh, broken. So you take a flamethrower trap to them and break them, but their light stays and they don't count in your light budget. They are in Florida core. Yeah, they are great. The only bad thing about it, especially if you use them in camps, is if somebody comes and does repair all on your camp item, then yeah. all of this lighting that you've actually done. Where but luckily, that's never happened to me. <laughs> so we I had to cut that for a bit because I'm sitting there and going through Florida Core over and over trying to show it to you guys. And then I realized I'm in his camp and that's an atomic shop item. So I can't actually even look at it. So <laughs> we're just going to cut all that out. And you'll, you'll understand that they are under Florida Core, not lights. They don't count for your light budget. And then you just no, break them. And there you go. You just put your And hope that nobody fixes them. Ta-da! And it still gives the light. That is so cool. All right. Anyway, yeah, let's get I mean, back to your camp. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Easily distracted. Okay. So yeah, this is the living quarters. I've tried to make Cute. it like a, you know, like these sort of perfect sort of ultra clean streets with trees, and I've put little birds inside the buildings, so you get like the tweeting sound. So it kind of feels, yeah, it kind of feels like a. More homey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, uh, yeah. There's some of these. That oh are, yeah, you had yeah, to empty because there was budget. I did. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> budget restrictions. Which so one? I think, uh... about, I think it's these first three that are filled. Uh, no, that one's closed. Is this one? Oh uh, yeah. This I think one. that one's got stuff in. Nice. Oh yeah, you got the shower. Yeah. Um, no matter. I mean, can I be weird and creep yeah, you in the shower? No, Did you know that you cool. guys can see them shower? shower. There's like it's kind of creepy because they leave a little, just a tiny little crack for you to peek in at. Can I? Ah, oh, you can. Should really... have took my clothes. I should have took my clothes off first. Oh, I'm I suppose. Be all wet now. Yeah, the leather jacket. <laughs> you're never gonna get that. Ah! I'm like inside there with you. Oops, sorry. I want to show what you look like, but I can't get an angle, so I'm like peeking my face through the curtain like a total creep <laughs> yeah. isn't that cool yeah it's a good addition i'm glad they've added something like that actually i like interactive stuff yeah anything that's that's cool that they're the toilets and then around this side you've got this leads yeah. down to every perfect society or clean society needs a bit of an underworld and i remember the so number like... being here the eight six eight yeah. three yeah, this is like the black market. Um, these are the people that originally settled here. Um, and yeah, obviously they still live in a poverty and... You know what's cool is the last time I came here, this wasn't a totally built power armor piece. And now I see that the humans <laughs> yeah. are making advancements. Look at that. Exactly. That's yeah. pretty sick. Progressing nicely. Yeah, but this so really turned out well. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice little room. Um, I wanted to use more of the underground bit to build more like, little shacks and but did yeah, you put again, this tree here? Fortunately, I did. Yeah, put a couple of trees in. Oh, at least you put them in, huh? That's cool. Yeah. All right, well we'll go up and get one more peek at stuff then. Yeah, I just can't get enough of this camp. We're gonna give it one last peek here. My camera's kind of at the end of its rope there. <sighs> Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much for letting us come check this out. I really appreciate That's right. it. That's I know. It was a pleasure. I really I appreciate love your camps. you guys coming to check it out. Heck yeah. All right. Well, that's all I have for you guys for this episode. As always, make sure you guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And, of course, I got to ask, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can check out some more content. And hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Bye.